Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge. At Madden. Yeah, so if this is the first time here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we highly recommend subscribing to stay updated with our latest content. Hit the subscription button above, click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel release a video. Remember that this channel is not an entertainment channel. You know, entertainment channels give you a hybrid between 10 to 15 minutes. This is not an entertainment channel. So you have to go elsewhere if you want entertainment. Remember to give this video a thumbs up because you will find it helpful and informative. Please remember to share the video with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mama, papa, side chick or side man and tell them to tell a friend about the Jamaica Young Police channel. You can join the Patreon squad by doing so you will gain access to exclusive content that cannot be played on YouTube due to various restrictions. To unlock this untapped collection of videos, click the link in the description box below. Joining our Patreon community allows you to explore contents that complies with laws, rules and regulations while avoiding disruption to our channel's functionalities. You'll be able to see videos and you'll see photos, photographs, names of persons who have been killed and are and still waiting on justice like Rifle of the British crew, one of the British of the, uh, of the British crew and you'll see the people who are involved in the killing of these men and others including Douglas Chambers who was killed by PMP criminal organization members and it, it came from the top and to date the person, our person who have given, given that order has not been arrested and charged for that murder. So you can go to Patreon and you'll be able to see the face and name of those person. So thanks for your continued support and we look forward to providing you with exceptional content. So moving on to today's video. Yeah, some people are you know, asking, why are we so passionate about the Jamaica Constabulary Force? We have such vested interest in the police force. And you know why we keep um, saying all of this anti-Jamaican thing and anti-police force and we are against the government and we are against Jamaica and we hate in Jamaica and we have been saying all kind of bad things about Jamaica. But this, all, let me ask you all of this. All of you who are saying, you know, sending these messages to me and saying all of these things. Refer, um, when you're sending your message, just, just tell me, am I lying? If I'm not lying, that means I'm speaking the truth then. So you don't like you you don't like to hear the real mama and papa truth. That is what we're all about here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. We are patriots and we do believe in the rule of law and we are totally against corruption. You understand? And we can see the corruption is rampant in the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the Jamaican government. And we can see the continuation of the corruption. The last time we had a commissioner of police that was really honest, ethical and decent was in 1989. Yes, that, you know, the, um, you know when he departed um, the mid's office, um, 1990. Herman Ricketts, fair, just, honest, decent, ethical. But you know, Jamaica, in Jamaica, if you are not corrupt, um, people have little or no respect for you. So when you are corrupt and you are from a corrupt family, they must continue the, corrup um, the corruption and the continuation continues. So that's how you dismantle a system and you make, a si make the system yours for your, you and your friends 
and your cohorts and that's what they have been doing for decades so we can see right now um you know it's march march 18th and you know um yes you know a few a few hours ago, um, there was a change change of command, uh, you know, commissioner of police, but it's not a change. We call it change of corruption, so it's from one onto the other. So, um, yes, um, Major Anthony Anderson, he wasn't in the police, he's a fake, fake commissioner of police for six years, uh, milk the taxpayers' money, uh, milk the taxpayers, hundreds of thousands of US dollars, he wasn't a certified police officer. While police officers who have been um, through the training and everything. And he brought the corruption from the Jamaica Defence Force along with um, one of his, um, with his driver. And turned him into assistant superintendent of police. Hope that man is out the door now too because he's not a police officer. We don't want no fake people in, a, uh, in no discipline that they are not trained for and certified. It's the same way with the Vibes Cartel judge. That judge... Um, did not know, you know, what, what, what he swore. Because if the judge did know what he swore, he would have known that he was being conned by Tom Tavares, Finson, and, and Miguel Lan. Miguel Lan, you know, remember, Miguel Lan is always a man where all is a charge of thief in care around him. All is a liar. Him every minute, him in a, hey, look, I want things still doing, you know, with Jamaica. I forgive it, give them credit still, you know, for the corruption. Every time Miguel Lan charge for thief, um, buy thief in care or thief in care, them convict him and him win an appeal. I just saw it go. So you don't know him man, him and classmate him all is a protect him. Protect him. So him no say him not have to worry on them thing. Miguel Land, yeah man a raster man. Yeah man, uh, 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 he have been arrested and charged several times alleged, um, for dishonesty. But I just saw it go. So them realize that the judge didn't know what he was he you know was for. So them just you know wind him up and that's how vibes car tell end up on his, um, his murder conviction quash. So in a Jamaica now, when you're corrupt, you know, say, there's a place, there's always a place for you in some, some government ministry. And we have seen it with Owen Ellington, the former commissioner of police, who have no shame. Honestly, if, uh, you know, when somebody have to pack them bags in at the middle of the night, and you lose all your visa, your American visa, you know, no shame, man. No shame, Rasta. The man that every function like it's just and and, and I can tell you that um when I when I not see more for doing you know the same people them were even when them see man them shake him and them see man chat him and I say boy the brother ain't no shame at all. But I saw it go still doing you know. Show me honest, show me show me any criminal we have shame. Criminal minded person. You don't have to be convicted of a crime. He must have arrested and charged with corruption before. So him know the drill and them thing there, so him don't know, say, oh, him a part of the cabal and once you corrupt them, treat you with royalty, them treat you as royalty in Jamaica. You're honest, them not know you see. So we see a man now, uh, I see him PMP criminal organization and them change all their rules, you know, because this man, you know, will become commissioner of police, you know, um, Kevin Blake, you know. Kevin Blake is a man, you know, who joined the police force after 30, you know. If Matt Miller never did change it, you know, PMP, they make him change it, you know. Because he wasn't police, you know, Philip bringing them friends where they can't get, we can't get a job. So that's, this, that's is what happened, you know. This man wasn't a police, you know. And when he made him turtles, him decided to join the police, was, you know. Because I'm uncle tell him, say, hey, I, I may have set you up on them thing, you know. Come, I have a special program. And I just nepotism. And I saw now, see him become the top guy in the Jamaica Constabulary Force. So the corruption continue. So as we tell you already, and we say again, it's a change of corruption. In a um, Jamaica Constable Force. You remember years ago when they talked about force of good. If you check on the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we see we show you that it's a force of good corruption. Major Anthony Anderson have done nothing for the Jamaica Constable Force more than to milk the taxpayers, yes, milk the taxpayers and bring broad corruption to the Jamaica Constable Force. If Major Anthony Anderson was a man who was not corrupt as a commissioner of police, first he would have trans um, promote Hubert Lewillin. But we see that you understand. He would have, um, promote Hubert Lewillin, would not victimize Hubert Lewillin, and Patrick Bailey, the commission, um, the, 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 the lawyer um, who had killed um, Mr. Genus in his house. Yes, you understand. If they hadn't killed that man, the, the um, German, if they haven't killed German, 
in his house, you know, at least, you know, that um, justice, you know, would be done. So we're going to let you watch. Yeah, he's going to start from there. Yeah, man, the Prime Minister. So don't worry, you're going to start from the Prime Minister. Come, we're going to show you all, all the shameless, all the shameless apparate in light of everything that's in the public domain and show you, say, oh, we're not ashamed, you know. Yeah, we don't have no shame. And this is how they promote corruption. And you're going to see the more, um, the, um, the shameless former commissioner of police, Owen Ellington, and all of the people them from the cabal, you know, you understand, turning up for the, the changing ceremony of this man um, who is going to be the next commissioner of police. This man never write a traffic ticket in his entire life. But what's going on? They must tell you now, say the police force now. The commissioner of police don't have to be in the police. <laughs> They're turning their business. So um, uh, when they're going to reach that now with the army and them thing, they say a so, um, the chief of staff or the person in charge of the army don't have to be a soldier. When they might do that now, but only the police. So everything, you know, because they have powers. Jamaica needs strict supervision. And yeah, and then you have another guy now when you're um, Hardy Lewin. You're not a police. I mean, you know, you show up and, uh, everywhere with a police there. You're not a police. You're a fake. You're a fraud. You understand? And I could never um, see you and, and give you any creed and say you're a police. Because you're not a police. You and, 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 and this not a police. You're not a fraud. Because none of you were never a police. You understand? You know, I just put there because of corruption started by the PMP criminal organization and then the Jamaica Labour Party continue the same corruption. So it's a force of good corruption. So we want you, our loyal viewers and subscribers, to watch the, um, you know, building up to the um, the ceremony. You're going to watch and the Prime Minister making him, as we tell you, you, know, you have two kind of people in this world. You have those who do things and those who pretend so they want to and do things. One thing you have to give Mark Golden and the PMP criminal organization credit for. Them not them not shame for tell us them corrupt. I show you say them corrupt. But it's labor right now when they pretend like, oh, we are not corrupt, you know, we are trying to fix it. Lies. Because this is what's gonna show you. This this um changing of ceremony um from one corrupt um police uh one corrupt fake um commissioner of police, you understand, to one one who who joined the police force late and then you have a, a Chinese man who is no leak on you, he not have a visa, yeah, you understand, based on information received. Yeah, uh, uh, it is so true that this man uh, him can't travel because he mix up. So you have so many people in a cabinet, them should have out on the, uh, out on the foreigner, them can't travel to America. Them can't travel, them not have a visa. That's how corrupt the, the, the people them in the government of Jamaica. You, uh, you understand? Yeah, you have a guy with name called Darrell Vaz. He can't travel in a car. He's corrupt to the core. You understand? Yeah. And we, we soon, we, we're going to expose them, you know, because these people, are, them are destroying Jamaica, you know. Nobody feel, we tell them all the time, you know. It's not the little boy that may fire a gun and destroy Jamaica. It's people, they might 63 people, were in a parliament, you know. You understand? So you watch, you listen, and you decide. We expect to continue and improve upon the transformation. We have to conduct our national security policy within our constitution. Not within what our people understand to be how our nation operates, respect for the rights and freedoms of the citizens. Uh, and that also includes the rights of people who are implicated or people who are criminals. And it is the observance and preservation of the law which will ultimately win out in us being able to reduce in a rapid way the murder. So the, the strategy was to attenuate states of public emergency whilst we invested heavily in building up the capabilities, in other words, bringing up our security forces up to the capacity to be able to overcome the criminals and then to use that capacity in the long term to bring down in a sustainable way by reinforcing the rule level the murder rate and other associated with crimes. And I think we are at that path going now, and it is now for another generation of policemen to emerge, uh, who understand this kind of thinking, who have uh, full respect for human rights, the dignity of the population, who are well, and building our urban 
resolution is constitutionally and ensuring that the policy is effectively implemented. Yeah, so that's your Jamaican Prime Minister, Andrew Wilness, you know, one of the, what should I say, um, another con man. Yeah, of course he's a con man, pretending as if he wants to get rid of corruption when all they have been doing is just continue the legacy of police corruption. If they want to change, if they want to change um, the, the, um, the corruption of the police force, then, you know, it would be totally, totally someone different that would be leading the police force. The... The the purse the, this man um, Kevin Blake this man is not a police this man joined the police force when he was over thirty in my day uh, in my day and age when I joined the police force you could not uh, I know that was done by Owen Ellington when McMillan was commissioner of police because you know he's the one that dismantled the police force and turned it into a criminal organization L legitimize it by making sure that he's prote he protect his friends and his competitors to keep them out. Because police force is a criminal organization, you know. The good police, them, them normally hide them and them normally put them up, to, up there. Anytime you see them a promote a police officer in a Jamaica, you know, just like all the time when time you say the media, I give um, Renita Adams all of these coverage. That's how the, you know, that's how the cabal operate. Yeah, the elites, they know, say, yes, this is one of my boy and yeah, him can go out there and commit all kind of crime for we rob and thief and protect with drugs and with illegal guns. Because what the other thing I want to believe, you look at them when I fire the gun, them, they are just a, a little part of the puzzle. So the government, shameful legacy of corruption, legacy of police corruption, exposing, and we are exposing the truth. So you see it right there, if they had wanted to get rid of corruption, want to rid the force of corruption, you know, they would appoint um, one of the most honest, decent and ethical police officer, a man by the name called uh, MacArthur Sutherland. We're not going to show him over here again. Because, you know, you, them say, oh, we are campaigning for MacArthur Sutherland. We're not campaigning for him. We're just telling the Jamaican people, the honest police officers, you can't trust the police force anymore, you know. We are telling that, you know. Many of the senior officers in our police force don't have any visa, you know, call them corrupt. We are telling that. If very few, we can't travel. And those who are traveling, some of them who are traveling, they are under the eyes of the DEA and the FBI. Because they know, say, like um, ACP Gary McKenzie is a drug courier. And they know who he carry money from, from Florida, for a PMP criminal organization um, done in Florida. You understand? We sell drugs and he come and pick up money and carry it down on his body, strap it on his body. So all of these things, you know, um, the Americans, they might change up things and make certain, say, you know, grab them. And, and like in a bigger four days where you don't have the internet where a man get old, got jail, and come back to Jamaica and my police and get promotion all the way up to senior so because he's a part of the cabal. We don't have any system, no system of accountability, you know, no, from a decency. That no exists no more in Jamaica. Yeah, no, nah, that, that, I, I think I pass. So... We continue the journey. So we want you to watch this video now. You know, this is time that um yeah, the massive and you know the shameless ones them, you know, enter the commissioner's office, you know, to witness the change of corruption. When a change and a change of command, a change of corruption. Major Anthony Anthony Anderson. When I say no alleged, him come yeah, police force with corruption, bring him driver come, turn him to DC, then assist and soap. I hope them kick him out of the police force in the I'm supposed to go on. But you know them are continuing the cabal. Yeah, because I, I saw them do it in a man. When you have a government work, when you have a set of people who are corrupt, when you have a set of people who are corrupt, you cannot expect to have a, a decent country. That's why crime are kill way. Because it starts from the top. We don't know so this a brother a long time and them thing. If you look if you if you have been watching this channel, all of the fools them talking about we the pan them payroll, you would have seen that we have never been a fan of this man. Cause this man is not just Edward Siaga. This man on a spine. And this man was this man is not anti criminal. This man is a pro criminal and anti police. Andrew Oldness. And we say that without any apologies. And we can't say all Everything that is happening, you know. You know, I want the Prime Minister, the brother when him, Darrell Vaz, you know, the most corrupt politician in Jamaica, you know. Yeah, Darrell Vaz, I Prime Minister. Because anything, because he must keep Darrell Vaz close to him, I'm afraid of Darrell Vaz, you know. You understand? So, you watch, you listen, and you decide. Yes, I know most of you right now are looking at Fia Ellington and some of you, oh, she's such a nice person. Did you know that Fia Ellington was a part of the Brigadista program under Michael Manley government? 
Yeah, Fia Ellington and Beverly Manley, they were part of the Brigadista program. They used to um, go to Cuba regularly and them things. You understand? So, and there, you know, there you're going to see the shameless uh, you know, former commissioner of police, Owen Ellington, a man who have no shame. You understand? Imagine they kicked you out of the police, you have to resign in a night. And everybody knows the reason why you have to resign is because you're corrupt. You mix up with drug dealer, you mix up in our drugs, and you almost reach a point where they're extradited to the United States of America. And you still are show up publicly. You're not even having a shame and say, boy, you know, I'm just, you know, keep myself quiet and uh, keep a low profile. No, sir, it's still out there. Like a Dan, like, you know, that would have come like a Zeke's or a Dudus because I don't know, say, oh, me a Dan, me a criminal, or this is my thing. So, you understand? And then, you know, you get all the praises from the, from the people, them. Who are you know who are around you, and then you have all this guy you now, Adi Lowellin. Uh, Imal is a turn up a police function like him, a police. You're not a police, you understand? But you know, we see the, the, the corruption continue, you understand, by the, the, the change in our command and the police force from one corrupter to the other. Because you have to understand, if you are not corrupted, these people have no use of you, you know. Decent, honest, and ethical people, people who are trustworthy. And people have impe impeccable characters and integrity. No, the government now you see you. You have to be a corrupter. You understand? So people are wondering. Um, so where we go from here as a as a nation? Well, why we we, we eat the bottom long time, you know. So we don't know. Oh, we all get to come up. You understand? It's like a drowning man trying to get oxygen. We don't know. Oh, we all come up. But you know, so we we. We are at the bottom, you understand? So it's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time. We don't know how we are going to recover from this, from what has been happening to our people when it comes to corruption. And the few people who are not corrupted, the system do not reward them. So that's why it pays to be corrupt for them. But to me, the most important thing is your integrity, your character, and your credibility. Nothing else. No powers will nobody give you. You understand? And see the... Um, the, the Minister of National Security, them same can't travel either, so I just saw it go. Um, Dr. Chung, so I think it's important you that as, as you know, uh, since we're going to have this very seamless transition from one to the other, that I have a few things for uh, ACP, soon to be CP, uh, Dr. Kevin Z. So here you have. Your rank and insignia that gives you the authority over the men and women of the main confederate court. Exercise that authority with wisdom, with capacity, but also with compassion. There is also the king, which is also a symbol of the authority. I can say, I know that, you know, I know you want to run away, but not as we say, we're setting precedence. So this is also a symbol of that authority. Wisdom, tenacity, and compassion. What is now, I know this must be like Christmas tree. <laughs> so here is the head. This is a pumpkin head that I'm passing to you. Just remember that there's a unique ink at the finish of police music. But the point is that you can see when the commissioner has signed anything and that the commissioner's signature and change lives. So be considered in what you do and what you say. <laughs> and finally, you hand this up in front, because this is what we stand on. The rule of law, respect for all, and force for good. You have to sit down this week and take the day. I guarantee you, you'll be guided at the time when 
something comes up as the inevitably does that you were never trained for. <laughs> 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 So as you know, in the, in the public domain in Jamaica, whether Labour right or PMP, you know, people who believe in a rule, rule of law and justice. This is the thing that's on everyone's lip. Our suspected murderer walk free, freely in Jamaica as if he has immunity from the law because he is politically connected. connected. This is corruption 101. That's our man named Patrick Bailey. So, you know, in a Jamaica, you know, once you're, once you're connected, you know, you can't co 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 you can commit any any amount of crime and you get away with it. Any amount of crime. And that's what has been happening, you know. You understand? And, you know, it's been going on too long. And we know, say, normally a commission of police get three years. Oh, oh, the math, oh, Jamaica is going to be fixed. One time, you know, you have um, leaders who is not leading, but just misleading the people pretend as if they want to fix it when they are not you understand and you know once you speak up them say you hate jamaica you're anti-jamaica when you love jamaica it's just like if you have your chi if you have your child as a parent you know parent who have children always try to make them kids don't say hey look here I ch you don't want to do that you know you understand what i'm saying you know that's that's not the right way so they have this mantra with them use a force are good a force are good no but we say no and so it go from the get-go, when them started, when Major Anthony Anderson had tried, um, you know, changed the police force to theme, you know, um, to his police force. But a force, a force, is a force of good corruption. So integrity is the most valuable and respective trait and quality of leadership when it comes to the head of state and its government. But if the government is corrupt, if you are looking for integrity, look to the woman whose daughter has followed in her mother's footstep and selling outside the walls of a school so you know these are people with integrity so if you look for integrity you have to look right down there you can't look up there you know the people that have the degree them the doctorates and the masters so no they, they don't have it so have you felt felt a, a sense of security you know like knowing you are protected from the wrong people in a world where the top cops are the corruptors, those who should uphold justice are the ones breaking it. You trust them to keep you safe and uphold the law, but they twist it for their gains. So that is what is happening in Jamaica, you know. So we have, you know, from one, one, corrupt, one corrupt leader to the other. You trust them and them keep, them keep, them, them keep. Um, twisting the law because it benefit them. You have a man who's been appointed the commissioner of police. He don't know for write a ticket. He never arrest and charge anyone. He never go to court. You know, like his uncle, first time Wellington got to court and them charge him for corruption. You understand? First time in his life as a police officer. See, I've only a police officer in the Jamaica Constabulary Force now in a 20 day in a 2024. Them don't know how he write a statement. Them don't know. Them, they've gone to court. Them don't know how it is. So, these, you know, when, when you as a hard working and an honest police officer work through the years, tile, um, go through training school and all of these things, and as a young man and you aspire, and you realize, hey, I don't fall in that bucket. I don't have any former uncle who was a commissioner of police and was a thief, a crook, and a druggist, a drug dealer, because all them friends were druggists and didn't protect them. I don't have any connection. I have done any, uh, you know, I haven't signed any documents giving convicted drug dealers clean intelligence report and all of these things. But the police officers who are honest and them cannot get them to do all of these things. These are the police officers that make sure they put them like in a back room and you never see them until time for them retire because they have no, no use of them. So when people are talking about nation builder, we not no build, Jamaica not build no nation. Jamaica, Jamaica is tearing down the little that's left. We don't have anything left, you know. We don't have a shame left or anything like that in Jamaica. We have seen, and it started under this Prime Minister, we will never start dismantle everything and turn it. Legitimize criminality. Because you have Isaac Buchanan, who is an attorney at law. Never happened in the history of Jamaica. So them do them just test them test a little thing and the people not say nothing. 
So then just ride. I saw the, I saw you tear down system in a bit by bit by bit. And then the then you know so the opposition, the other part the other party is a criminal organization. Everything that you are doing, them say yes, good job because we will do it too. So anything if you destroy the country, can they rather if you destroy it, you know, because it's beneficial to them financially. But look here. Eventually even you see money when you have you're not gonna have no use to the car and have to go run away. We are telling you that. We don't have to go run away. Because even the little man them in the nice army and the police force I say, Oh, me you think me I give my life with this a corrupt system. A fool, you know. That's why I left the young police officers. That's why I left. Because I realized then then time in the PMP um Peter Phillips was the Minister of National Security. I realized I pay a criminal missed them a promote for me. And I said, no, no criminal can in charge of me. And I tell a man that you can't supervise me because I know say you're a thief. A man said, I don't have manners. A man said, all right, so why are you not charging me? Uh, can I go to uh, court and crime? He can't care me. Because I have good span him. Because I witness him commit too much crimes, thieving, robbery, and all of these things. So they just say, why are you not have manners? And they just use them wrong and use people and tell lies on you. So where do you turn, you know, when the ones who are supposed to protect the ones that you need protection from? So their power and influence can make it seem like there's no way out. No one is fighting back. No way to fight back either. But we must remember that corruption thrives in silence and darkness. So we must shine a light on the truth and hold them accountable. When you know that you are protected because the top cops... Our corruptors, it's time to stand up and demand justice. Together we can make a difference and ensure no one is above the law. The change of command replacing one of the most corrupt wannabe fake commissioner of police. Yeah man, Major Anthony and the other police, all corruption. He shouldn't even be there, but because of political expediency and corruption, that's why he's there. Six years in middle the taxpayers' money. You know how much all how much, how much, how much fringe benefits we take um, use it for? 180,000 US a year. You understand? US him get fee pay in Jamaica. I have no US, a, Jamaica, a Jamaican currency we have, but him get pay in a US. Why do Jamaican police get pay in a Jamaican currency? And I see him 12,000 US. What well, that I used to get as a constable. 40 years after Slater, them still I get the same 12,000. Can't be pay in a move. That him 10% of the commissioner of police pay him I get. At least, you know, he can't be 18,000 US then. Since he doesn't pay commissioner of police, 180,000. Give young constable 10,000 US, uh, 18,000 US. I see him 12,000 US. They will pay, when you convert them, they will pay the constable them. I have to say, we're not about force it good. Force it good corruption. The change of command, so the change of command, change of, of corruption. Yeah, man, from the fake commissioner, you know, um, fake commissioner of police. You understand who brought this corruption from the Jamaica Defense Force, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, has been the greatest failure in collecting taxpayers' money. For over six years of milking the system and continuing the corruption and protection of this man, Patrick Bailey, who should be in jail beside Jalan Sylvia or in prison for the killing of Jeremy and Junior. A 51 year old construction worker was found with stab wounds and a single gunshot wound to his head in the attorney living room on September 30, 2026. That's in my man, you understand? And guess who was the Prime Minister when this murder occurred? Andrew Wilness. What is his connection to Patrick Bailey? They are friends. He's his lawyer. Guess who was Commissioner of Police? Owen Ellington, the most corrupt Commissioner of Police ever in the history of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Guess, guess the Commissioner of Police today, March 18, 2024, Owen Ellington's nephew, Dr. Kevin Blake. Dr. Kevin Blake did not know that he wanted to become a policeman until his uncle, the commissioner of police, made the rules to accommodate him so that he did not have to go through the ranks of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. 
and was propelled a made man like a in a criminal organization a mafia organization been through the initiation and all of these things and is the man them say yes suited to be the um the top man because the the only person who's in the commissioner rank in jamaica them have no use for him because them cannot them them, them can't you think them could get on a macata so that so that when they're narcotics um to protect them friends when them no them couldn't get that like how them have dcp bailey um them find two big pallets of coke at the um uh El fleming airport and them have camera inside in a in a airport and no one has been arrested and charged but the american them soon take them visa and them family visa and them data them you understand so dr kevin blake has no experience as well policeman you know he had never written a traffic ticket he had never arrested and charged anyone with a crime. And the worst part of his resume is that he had never been in a shootout to experience that it's like to be a cop in Jamaica. But that is how it is in Jamaica. The top, the top cheer for those who are corrupted and wear pink briefs. Yeah man, pink underwear. Yes, pink brief. Are spineless, cowardly and corrupt to the core. Welcome to the criminal's paradise. If we want a better Jamaica, we must stand up for this island, not any political party or leader. And we are the Jamaica Young Police Channel. We have made it clear from day one. If you look on the channel from, from we start, the guy can't say we be willing to any guy. So until we are some guy about, oh boy, you know, my Libra is a PO. You think they will come up like on all corals. I don't care about that, man. We turn down, we, we forget $60,000. 60, well, them owe it. And because we don't tell the life on the next black man to make them kick him out of the Navy, we don't get the money. You couldn't do that. You're a seller's soul. Because we don't have, we don't have no core belief about it. Nothing. We don't care to chat to me. We don't care to talk to me. I have, build, me have uh, integrity. And I have reputation. And I have values. 60,000 US. You understand? Over 13 years now. I'm still not getting it. All because I'm going to tell a life on a black man for them kick him out of the military. For destroy him life. Because them see, we understand because of them ego bruise. And while them ego bruise, we still help the black man make him keep bruise it. But we know that sell him out because of because we know we don't love money. If we get that the 60 thousand, I'll do have my money. If we get that, that would have done already thought. How? What? what may I have to do? Live with my conscience and you know, say, oh, I mean destroy somebody's life when I do nothing. I mean I go tell life on them. I mean, I do it. Although them charge him, department, them charge him, yes, bring him for Captain Mars, and then I tell him, say, don't, them, them, them try, I parade him publicly, I was there. If you embarrass him, I tell him, say, hey, don't, don't, take no, don't what am I tell you, you know? Because you never do nothing wrong, you know? I, you understand? Even when he jog a, a, a missing farm, and I tell him, say, boy, I say, you don't do nothing wrong. I say, you don't stay put. I say, I never got to tell the life on you and them things, eh? You understand? And I sit me I tell you say he's a man when that team did fat and that man lose about 30 pounds in a week because of the wickedness. You understand? And I was the one who could have destroyed him. And then end up now when he never um and the, and the captain mass publicly at the command in front of four hundred people for destroy him, embarrass him and them thing and left him, you know, for them to him, the people that want to destroy him, him life in a for the man. I tell him, say, don't do it, because you can't do that, you never do anything wrong. You understand? And I, be, I was the hated guy. You understand? And I do everything. When I, when, when I even get promotion, <laughs> you understand? When I get, but that's why I love, that's why I, love, that's why I tell a man I love Uncle Sam. You know? When I get promotion, I don't become a guy like me. I become a pass my exam. You understand? I'm them, I, and I saw it go like dung that you understand. Me pass me exam. I didn't have to do no interview. Me pass me exam and I saw me get my promotion. They never like it, but why? They just love it because it come from Washington. So when a guy attacks a boy, oh, Andrew Olney, send him over here and pay him and him this and that. I fool them, man. I don't keep listening to fools. A guy don't know me. You understand? Me a different. Me, 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 me a different makeup. So our political system need revamp and get rid of the stupid prime minister role and give us a presidential system like America. Where the people vote for the leader of the country, not the leader of a party whose party won the most seats. 
that will be the first step to getting rid of these corrupt and morally bankrupt politicians in Jamaica and the corruption of the government as its handprint of Prime Minister Daryl Vaz. Yeah man, Daryl Vaz is Prime Minister. Yes, Daryl Vaz is the Prime Minister. Andrew Wallace is the figurehead because he's weak, like a boy, in a big man's world. We are telling that. So the Jamaica Constabulary Force has been wallowing in corruption since 1989. Yes. Only Commissioner of Police Dr. Carl Williams was incorruptible. I will say that without any apologies. Yes. That's the man actually like the most drug dealers them in a Jamaica. But you know, he never stayed along because although I'm bright to one of them things, eh, you know, they're not really that firm. So, you know, you understand? So, we don't know. You know, we don't know the reason why them get rid of Dr. Carl Williams because, we don't know, maybe one of them for the cool case with Patrick, Patrick Bailey. And we cannot let this case um, let this case out of the public domain. You understand? We cannot let it out of the public domain. We have to continue to apply pressure to this case. This man needs justice. 20, you understand? This man, 2016. No, man. We see police officer who no commit no crime. We see them extradite him from America and destroy him life in a Jamaica. 11 years in a prison. And all of us who can read know said Patrick Bailey. Whether him kill the man or not the man dead in a female and I told them he was inside here. Is that a dopey kill the man? And a dopey kill um, um, Jeremy. You understand? It's not dopey kill Mr. Ju not, it's not dopey kill the man. You understand? But the government continue to appoint corrupt leaders. So the last um, incorruptible commissioner of police we have was Dr. Carl Williams. Not our, you know, a black man with a long face and them things, but he never do that long. And, you know, and him and um, them knackhead with um, this Indicom act and all of them something. He was, a, he was a police police because he'd been through the ranks. You understand? Real police. Yeah. Kevin Blake and the police, although he, he, he not come through the ranks because he come from a special program that's his uncle, eh, hey, his uncle corrupt you, you know. So look now, so the daughter now, you know, who went Ellington, I saw them do it, you know. So, you know, so, I let me tell people, you know, so the biggest, the biggest monetary in any country are government. So it makes sense for place him that in a police force, you know. You understand? Yeah. She a cook, you know, she a the police. She can't even write her entry, I bet you any money. You understand? Daddy this, daddy that. Yeah, so he create program for bring it and bring him daughter and him nephew. No, because he my most corrupt commissioner of police and he never become commissioner. And people are say, well, you know, I'm different. Hey, look here. I remember the time I was growing up in a Jamaica. If you, especially Alice where me come from, if you have anybody in your family, we are gunman. I did a gunman. You can't join the police force. So our oh, man who, who was corrupt. Feel never become a commissioner of police. That doesn't make no sense at all. Because he must have inf 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 influence over him. Because they're close. Very close to And he protect him. So when they are not appointing someone willing to demonize leaders to win election, they appoint individuals with dishonest past like Owen Ellington. So the reason why we tell you that now, so, yeah, when they don't appoint, um, when, you know, like all, um, P.J. Patterson did appoint Francis Fabs. Uh, Francis Fabs' job was to make sure that any time it had come close to the election, him send the police force to go to Tivoli and then start randomly kill people. And then now, you know, them get, get hey, you have to understand, you know, the media is a cabal, you know. And then the people, them, the people, them, um, at Tivoli, the things that them are them friends. No. So the, what them do now, them send the police them down at Tivoli and start shoot, kill the people, them, you know, innocent, you know, all people and all of them things, you know. And then now, and then them get the media for say, show say, yeah, so every man at Tivoli are the man of Al Garrison. You understand? When I say the man them down there, now I've gone and them thing there. But if you look here, if you gonna you gonna understand randomly I shoot people, old people are walk, past Spanish and you kill them for nothing. You might have to say you no know, man. You might have to say you escape, you know, them sin them now escape, you know, you have to suffer before you did in a virgin. You understand? If you look for the commissioner of police, you know, who in, um, Francis Fabs, you know, you can see, you know, you can see the toll, you know, where the retribution you know, reach the man in you know, the man. Because the man did some wicked things, you know, in the police force, EPMP criminal organization, you know. And the blood of them people, they're you know, innocent people down at Tivoli Gardens, you know, where them used to make every time PJ free prime, um, PJ partisan in election, you know, or them wicked, you know. You understand? So, 
But look here and continue. I don't feel like saying that every day I go be the same day. God not sleeping, a friend. But I let you want to believe it. You understand? So the message to a young police officer is clear. Be corrupt, be willing to do what we tell you, or you are out. So MacArthur Sutherland, now, the only police officer, where well, they can't control. Yeah, they can't control MacArthur Sutherland. They can't tell him to go sign the document for the guy. And give the guy a clean, intelligent report like rapist Jack Cure and um, Rev from the 90s crew and all of these things. They can't do that. So what them do? They make sure put him like in the back of the room and them thing. That's, you said now you visit, you can't see him and them thing there because even in the back of the room. You understand? Then I put him up front because people are going to know. So who's this guy? No, that's why them hide him. You understand? Him too decent and ethical. And him integrity is impeccable. They don't want that. They don't want to know so they have somebody like a Fitzbailey where come up and come out and tell lie but them still investigate murder case against um, Patrick Bailey and all of us who were trained we don't talk about we don't talk about the only come up police them we go through a program and where PMP them set up for bringing them criminal friends them in our police force because them can't create jobs in the private sector you understand we know so from training school based on what happened at Patrick Bailey house that is murder and him for charged with murder and to date him can't charge why how him so special? And the same thing that we were trying to cover up with uh, when Melissa Sylvia murder. We can't make them, we can't make that one I get with. This is one of two stink, man. We have to apply, you understand? Then Pocha seems to me like come in after. All because this is a man I come up because I remember, you know. Jesper Ford was him lawyer, you know. Jesper Ford, Jesper Ford was him doctor, you know. And him a just before lie. The whole of them. Nobody watch through them a labor right and them a PMP criminal organization supporter. The whole of them a friend is a cabal. It's just at a different colour and a different philosophy. But all of them look out for each other. You would think that, you know, alright, the administration changed so what? No, you know it changed, but them still have you understand. Nothing no happen. Them not charge them not charge him. Nothing. 2016, then you know, then uh, from 2016 to now, this morning I walk free because the commissioner, the, the, the prime minister is still there. So, if you, you understand, I okay, and, and the thing is that now the worst part about it, the other party, I see him because the, remember, let me not try to cover up Melissa Sylvia's murder. I tell us about Melissa Sylvia died in her sleep, you know, it's a lie. You understand, so she have a um, brilliant aneurysm. So if the Jamaican government truly wanted to clean up the police force, they would have appointed honest and ethical leader like MacArthur Sutherland. But they're not used to people like him. But no, instead, but they didn't. Instead, they continue to perpetuate the cycle of corruption. So it's time to expose the truth about the government's shameful legacy of corruption. Are you tired of a government that's disregard corruption within the police force? So in this eye-opening video, we delve into the shocking reality of the Jamaica Constabulary Force history of corruption. Yeah, man, dating back to 1989. And when we say 1989, yeah, it's from Michael Mano became um, Prime Minister. Then I felt like they appointed the most, the second most corrupt commissioner of police, Roy Thompson. As bad as Roy Thompson is, Roy Thompson could have travelled up right up to the day when he dead at 86. We were in Ellington, can't travel. And he, uh, he's afraid to even leave Jamaica because I came on, because he might not come back. <laughs> you understand? So he's safe for Jamaica. Can you believe it? It's just like I'm the man I say, boy, I'm going to see if I'm in a jail. I own Ellington, see if I'm in a Jamaica. He's he, he afraid to leave. He's not going to go on vacation and go to Bahamas. I mean, you know, I'm hungry for money, so I'm thinking, I'm hungry. Boy, may I tell you, like him owes some other man or something. Because I want to see no other commissioner of police out there, like, where all these are look work. So, only a few exemplary commissioner of police like Dr. Carl Williams have stood out as incorruptible leaders. However, appointing compromised individuals such as Ellington raises serious questions about the government's integrity. So at the time Bruce Gold was Prime Minister, then now are his nephew. How you feel say his nephew is gonna be different from him? Tell me. They are from the same class, same genes. Yeah, and pretty much you could have said boy the man like him son. So you know, so I own Ellington's sister, Pitney. 
corruption, corruption, man. Corruption rocking up on them. So the blatant disregard for transparency and honesty in selecting top law enforcement offi officials sent a dangerous message to aspiring officers. Promoted individuals with tainted past only perpetuate a culture of deceit and dishonesty within the police force. So if the government truly cares about fighting corruption, why haven't they appointed individuals? Appoint individuals like MacArthur Sutherland, a beacon of integrity who stands against injustice. Because MacArthur Sutherland, you know, Jamaican people and people in our diaspora, we are telling you, know, if they appoint MacArthur Sutherland as the Commissioner of Police, we don't ask, you know, we don't say Patrick Bailey going to prison, you know. Can them man in a play, you know. Nobody can, you can, you can't tell them man, I have a fee, so you're going to turn them in a puppet. You understand? Join us as we uncover the government's shameful legacy of corruption, man, and its detrimental impact on society. So it's time to demand accountability and transparency in law enforcement. So watch now to learn more. Follow us for updates and engage in meaningful discussion. Together, we can strive for a more just and honest society. A government that is not ashamed of continuing corruption of the police force in the Jamaica Conservative has been wallowing in corruption for all of these years. All these years. If the government, if the government wanted to, to rid or reduce corruption of the, out of the Jamaica Conservative Force, they would have appointed the most honest, decent, ethical and straightforward and no-nonsense, conscientious, incorruptible police officer MacArthur Sutherland. But guess what? Assistant Commissioner of Police, Police MacArthur Sutherland and a man who knows and can see that injustice has been done in the case of Patrick Bailey killing of a man, Jermaine Jr. A 51-year-old construction worker was found stabbed with stab wounds and a single gunshot wound to his head in the living room of Patrick Bailey, a lawyer who is a friend, who is a friend and, and confidant of the Prime Minister of Jamaica and Jewelers on September 30th, 2016. As we delve in the dark underbelly of law enforcement, we are those who are supposed to protect us are the ones causing harm. So we are entitled corruption of the top cop when protection means peril. This expose shed light on the dangerous reality of our corrupt of individuals in position of power. So watch as we uncover the unsettling truth behind this facade of authority and devastating consequences it can have on society. So take advantage of this compelling investigation which will make you question who you can trust in a system meant to uphold justice. Stay informed, stay vigilant and remember that proper protection starts with accountability. So with us all, you know, with us all just give you a little, a, little, a little excerpt about Patrick Bailey. You know, so Patrick Bailey, the police say, this are three years ago, you know. The, remember I said, um, this murder happened from September 2016, you know. The police say that they have not closed their probe in the murder of a man four years ago. You understand? That I'm not in a 2020, not in a four Well, over four years then. 2021. That's where Patrick Bailey, um, Fitz Bailey says. Four years ago at the St. Andrew home of prominent attorney at law, Patrick Bailey, you know this bar? Yeah. Jeremy and Jonah, a 51 year construction worker was, worker, was found with stab wounds and a single gunshot wound to the head in the attorney's living room on September 30th, 2026. In an update on the case on Monday, February 1st, 2021, at the police at a police press conference, Deputy Commissioner of Police in charge of crime, Fitzbailey, said the probe into the killing is ongoing. Well, the matter, Junior's murder case, is ongoing, is not yet closed, but the truth is we go by the evidence and I don't think we have have the adequate we have the adequate amount of evidence to advance a criminal prosecution at this time he disclosed and that I biggest life on the pits of hell yeah that's why we don't respect with Patrick Bailey because I'm a liar no guy that's why I'm telling you no guy can't no guy no power no guy couldn't get me if you gonna lie about that uh, even a DC could have charged a man with murder. 
even you, you, you're even a liar, PMP criminal organization supporter I talk about it. I look how much video we do on it. But they know them not watch the channel and they not watch where them feel like say so we are criticize them them criminal organization. And look here, you know, a crime we deal with, you know. Crime is our speciality. You understand? Crime. So ever since I took over the crime pride crime portfolio, we have a quite a number of case case reviews. We have actually done several lines of inquiry, but at this time, we don't have evidence to mount a criminal prosecution, barely added. And guess what? The media now pressure him, you know, because you don't know he's a cabal. All of them. Because all of them, are them, them have them party, them mixed together, them have them rear admiral club, them have them thing with men in a pink brief and all of these things, and you know, so on and so forth. You understand? So police reports at the time suggested barely that that um that Bailey stumbled upon the body shortly after four AM in his living room and the police were alerted. No signs of force force entry. And the matter say, yeah e that you know. No signs of force entry were visible and Bailey was not classified as, as a suspect. Yeah, so you know that there was no no sign of force entry. So there was no breaking and entering. And them said why Bailey was not classified as a suspect by the police after providing a statement to investigator. So since that time, the police have faced criticism regarding their handling of the crime, which is now referred to as a cold case. One that has not yet to be solved after considerable time under investigation. The thing is that with Jamaica, we're not on a statute of limitation. But we can't tell us that it's a clear murder. Clear murder. We we'll never see a case like this ever in our history of Jamaica where a man two somebody in our house, one dead and the other one allowed to walk up and down on the road. Never. N this is unprecedented. Yeah, man. So, and then you hear them say, Oh, you know, I'm a PMP. Yeah. Well, hey, look. I say, God, them thing they're not in the when you're taking a prisoner. When people can't control it. We, we see the truth. Team Jamaica. We are not enough in a JLP or in Andrew Wellness. We're not there. We don't care no guy water. We just tell you the real mama papa truth. If a guy corrupt, we just tell you the same corrupt. I'm going to sugarcoat it. Yes. You understand? So ask about a number of cold cases still pending by the police. DCP Bailey said it was very difficult question because when you look at the rate of murder in Jamaica, for example, we have over 1,300 annually and we solve maybe about 56%. I'm looking at most of them and them not being convicted because you know Jamaica is a criminal's paradise. So regarding cold cases, he said, a team is now being put together to focus on those cases, but it is difficult for me to give a figure of the cold cases at this time. Earlier, Bailey had revealed that charges had been laid on Monday in one cold case committed 11 years ago. Yeah, man, and guess what? A beat is stout because, and the reason, a beat is stout, and the reason why a beat is stout charge of murder because him stingy. Any old beat is taught, and you see what I found it? The man, the man who beat is taught supposed to get a three million dollar, you know? the, hey, yeah, Well, I'm not in there, you have to respect that the criminal, you know? Him promised the man three million dollars to kill him wife. And it cost him more than a three million to get lying on him. Still, I got a prison. And the man decides to owe me. I teach me, I got to teach you a lesson on him thing there. A deal is a deal. You promise me, say, you pay me three million dollars to kill your wife, and I kill her, and you don't pay me. And I dat the man there. He not pay the man and I tell the man about, oh, because him did fee say, you know, him so full of himself that he thought that because, oh, the man I go on for go to prison and inform upon himself and all of them and become the witness against him. So him chat upon the phone and chat upon the phone and the man just record him. And the man said, oh, me not a problem for go to prison. Because you not give me my three million dollars. And he just test and him get 19 years. And now, so them can't pick him. And the man can't pick him my second murder too. The man can't pick him my other wife murder. All because, yeah man, him full of himself and this ego But oh, you know, three million dollar work. And you know, regard for people's life because that's a Jamaican state. You understand? So, Everton Beat is told, uh, Beat is told McDonald, a famous Portland businessman, was charged with the 2009 murder of his first wife, Marilyn McDonald, just months after he was accused of the July 2020 murder of his second wife. Tonya Hamilton McDonald. Merlin 50 was shot in her driveway after parking her car at her Bound Brook, Port Antonio, Portland, in May 2009. She later died from her injuries. 
it's the latest charge against McDonald actually took place. So it was a cold case that was under investigation, Bailey noted, adding it might take a while, but it but if you get get involved in contract, we are going to find you. Yeah, so he must say no he must say, well, you know, um Bailey not involved in a contract killing, so I just saw it go. Uh, which is a just lie. You understand? So we know say we know say the corruption continue. So you know this man job now is to protect that man I bottom. So three more years. So the most of them now in a PMP in a um in a Jamaica Labour Party and the PMP criminal are praying now, say boy, before the three years expire, Patrick Bailey can dead, sick and dead or something. Because he's supposed to be charged with murder. But I saw it going on when you're connected in Jamaica. Oh, we're going to run our country like this. And people are like, boy, we need. There's no leadership in Jamaica. The only leadership are leaders of corruptors. And the man and, and the man with the media not even like that the man will be a better leader. Warmington because he must tell you straight as it is. You never hear the man name mix up. You never hear say Warmington not, I get involved. And Warmington never been arrested by the police in New York for corruption. But the Prime Minister of Jamaica, yeah man, Darrell Vaz is the Prime Minister of Jamaica. They arrest Darrell Vaz for corruption. I just saw it go. I tell you. You understand? Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out. Oh.